My name is Darren Darling, I'm the Global Brand Ambassador for JLM Lubricants and I'm here today to talk about the relationship between DPF problems and engine oil dilution. So here today we have a 2010 VW Golf 2 litre TDI. It's came into us with DPF regeneration problems so that the vehicle is frequently regenerating and the customer has complained about the, the DPF warning light being on consistently so uh, what we have here if I bring this in closely you can see the oil level hopefully you can see it on camera but the oil level is about here where my finger is rather than up here where the maximum level is so the engine oil level is high now this is something that you should look out for on a DPF vehicle because an increase in the engine oil level is an indication that the DPF was trying to regenerate too frequently. So it's either it's failing regenerations or it's not completing them. That can be caused by a block DPF, but not always. In this case, this vehicle does not have a block DPF, but due to the, you know, throughout the pandemic, the customer has been un unable to go for a long journey to allow regeneration to complete. So what's happened here is every time he's been driving the vehicle, the vehicle has been initiating another regeneration because the time before it did not complete it. So because of that, what you have is the engine oil getting diluted with diesel. The ECU does inject diesel on post injection to increase exhaust temperatures. So that's the reason, you know, when you switch the vehicle off mid regeneration, that's a reason for oil dilution. So it can be either because of a block DPF or in this case, the vehicle is unable to complete a regeneration. So what we're gonna do with this, this vehicle, because the DPF is not actually blocked, so we need to address the diluted engine oil. So we will use some JLM engine oil flush. So we'll pour this in now, while the old engine oil is still in here. So let's pour this in. So now that that is in here, we'll put the oil cap back on and what we'll do is we'll start and run the engine with the engine oil flush in there for around 20 minutes and that'll just uh, you know, help to give it a good flush out before we use the correct grade. It's important also with DPF equipped vehicles that you use the correct grade of engine oil because that can lead to ash buildup if, if you don't use the correct low ash engine oil. So we have some lovely JLM premium engine oil there, uh, ready to go in once we've run the engine flush through. But also more importantly than this, or equally as important I should say, is we need to take some action towards the DPF. So because the DPF is not blocked in this, and it's struggling to complete regeneration. The product that I'm going to use on this is a GLM DPF Regen Plus. Now we do have a full tank of diesel in the, in the vehicle at the moment. We request that from the customer when they come in with DPF problems so we can really see what's going on. So what we'll do is we'll change the engine oil. We'll put this in the fuel tank now. This is a pour in product. product. So um, we have a full tank of fuel at the moment. So all I'm going to do is pour this in the fuel tank and when we've changed the engine oil, while well that's going in there, once we've changed the engine oil, we'll go out on an extended road test in the vehicle and we expect regeneration will take place over a shorter period of time with the JLM Regen Plus and we'll advise that the customer uses this periodically, maybe every second or third tank of fuel and that will help keep the DPF problems at bay. So if you're noticing a high engine oil level, it's a first symptom, you may not have warning lights on, but start thinking about your driving style and it's also not good for your vehicle to run around wide di with diluted engine oil. So hope you found that useful. For more information on JLM products, visit our website, jlmlubricants.com. Don't forget to give this video a like and follow our YouTube channel at JLM Lubricants. Okay, thanks for watching.